Now, DJ Wilson, hey. as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And he's working on a five RBI game. Quite a performance we're seeing from him in this one. He pulls this one into right. Judge is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great. Now batting, left fielder, Brian Beck. Now this is on the ground to second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Now batting, second baseman. Stepping in now, D.J. Wilson. Wilson batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Now here's the ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. Three home runs tonight. What a game. Now batting, catcher, Gary Sanchez. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. There's one. He's out. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quick. The batter, number one, shortstop, Carlos. Ground ball sent back up the middle to his right, Wilson, on He's the out. first, and now the Astros are up against it down to their final out. Now batting, third baseman. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Played on the backhand. On to first, and that's your ball game. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. Michael Lorenzen gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. A great Sunday afternoon for baseball here. North of the border at the Rogers Center in downtown. Eduardo Encarnacion gets the starting assignment in this one for the Jays. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, his last outing, he got his big first win of his career. That really is, impressive, and, and it's so exciting to see a guy get mm -hmm. that. I think we're on our way to watching this guy do some things. Right. It's going to be fun to see him pitch again coming Go off ball. that big one first strike. win for himself. Harold taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and in fact dropping six of their last seven. And that is down as that could be two bases. And the runs across the score, and the Jays will take an early one nothing lead. Yeah, he's not fooling anybody so far, Bat. Like you said, that's the second double he's given up here. And if he doesn't get things figured out, it's going to be a real short out. Runner goes for third. Pitches a cold strike to throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. And to me, they just can't let guys get lead like that, especially knowing that the guy behind the plate isn't known for his arm. Here he swipes third, and they just kind of gave it to him. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. 
With that, let's take a look at the Blue Jays starting lineup. HR, what do they need to do to complete the sweep? Well, Matt, this team does not strike out a whole lot. They put the ball in play, and they rely on putting pressure on the other team. And if you make a mistake, they're going to capitalize. But their name, their game is pressure, put the ball in play. Batting six, right fielder, Avasayu Garcia. Ball three. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. And he misses ball again. Four. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk of the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll. James forced us. Now batting. Catcher. Gary. Sanchez on the ground softly towards second he's got it throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired for Houston they still lead it two to one leading off for Toronto. into the box DJ Wilson DJ as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up Shot toward right center, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Already two hits in the ball game as he's on base here in the home third. And as we called on the team leaderboard, you can see that he currently paces the Blue Jays in that category. Third baseman number 20, Josh Donaldson. Throw over to the bag, Too late. and he'll he dive it. back in safely. Runners going. Pitches yeah. a cold strike. The throw. Hey. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Zero. Swing and a miss much too early, and that makes it a count full count. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Springer racing back and just short of a home run. This ball's off the wall. The runner scores from second. And that's an ideal start to the inning right here. Third base for number two. Here's a little chopper up the middle to second for hey. one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. The batter number 24, second baseman, DJ Stepping in now, Wilson. DJ Wilson, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Gone! When that pitch was grouped right down Main Street. Up next for the Blue Jays, second baseman, D.J. Wilson. Into the box now, D.J. Wilson, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's had a great game so far, and a triple would complete the cycle. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. And this is going to be his fourth hit of the game as this should wind up as extra bases. And that'll double the lead as the run comes across from second to make it 8-4. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Eight runs, 11 hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And he'll dive hey, back in. Up. 
No Ball. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. First baseman, number 19, Colin Moran. Dribbled to the right side. Throw gets him. Two down. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Blue Jays forced to settle. Now batting. Second baseman, DJ Standing in Wilson. now, DJ Good. Wilson, as he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He's had a great game so far, and a triple would complete the cycle. Ready with the 0-1. And oh, no. Pray that didn't get him where it sounded like it got him. Throw to no. first, but he's Didn't safe. There. And now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound. Up next for the Astros, left fielder, Ryan Saunders. 